Hello there, folks. Hey, this quick video today is just going to cover three cool things I found that I've never used before. I, I thought I'd uh, make a quick video of them. So I, once in a while, I'll get people ask me, how can I tell how much memory is left on my SD memory card or how big the card is in there and so forth. And so I was looking in Crimson and I found these three functions, get disk free bytes, get disk free percent, and get disk size bytes. So I wrote a little database. I'm actually doing some other things with it. But this is a great database to use to show these functions. So in Crimson, uh, if you're using, well, Crimson 3.1 or 3.2, uh, over in the lower left-hand corner, if you go to, sorry, lower right-hand corner, the lower right-hand corner, click on System in the lower right-hand corner. And then if you expand the Functions tree and then expand the Drive tree, that's where you're going to find these three functions. <clears throat> and for instance, let's say, team, that we wanted to find out about the get disk free percent thing. Most of these in here, most of these functions, you can always right click and do show help info, and that'll open up the PDF document. Of course, it's really small on this new PC of mine, but whoops, let me just do this again. Hold on. So if I right click, there we go. Zoom in a little bit here. And then if I just make it just a little bit, there we go. So you can see here in this thing, if I make it a little bigger, uh, it gives you a little example how to use it. The drive element has to be zero. It says always zero here. And it says, you know, I don't do it all the time. Call it on a page on select event. And then, of course, store into a tag like this. That's what they're doing here. So we took that as a, as a suggestion. So what I did here is I've got over here in data tags, I just created three tags that are nothing more than internal. They're just integers called free memory, free bytes, and disk size. And then on my display pages, I created a little pop-up, which is this page here. And on that pop-up, I put those tags down here in this area. Okay, now the free memory will go from 0 to 99 or maybe 0 to 100%. But anyway... With that numbering, I'm actually changing the color of this based on how percentage the SD card has free space versus used up space. However, what I want to show you is if I right click on this display page and anyway, I right click anywhere, go to properties, I want you guys to notice that on the actions tab, just like the instruction said, on select, meaning when this page gets selected, I'm going to do some stuff here. And if I click the edit button here, this is where I'm calling the, the get free disk percent, get disk free bytes, and get disk size bytes. So it's telling me how much memory is available out of 0 to 100%, how many bytes are available in the card, and the disk size uh, unused, how much is available. So all those functions get called only when I pop up that page. And I did all that through a complex code. If you just hit the edit button here, you can get the small window, but when you have multiple steps, you can always hit the pull down, choose complex, and that gives you the bigger window. I, I prefer that myself. Anyway, so if I before I download it, it's already running, but I want to show you something here. If I go here to this, and if I click this little button here, it's going to bring up that pop-up. Now, I want you to notice something. I've been letting this run for a while, and I've been doing a lot of data logging, so I have a two gigabyte card in there, and uh, right now, I have about 38% uh, used on this thing, uh, or 38% left, if you will. Uh, that's the green part, and the red's the left here. If you notice the color change here, what I did on this little pop-up, let me close this down here again. Let me go back to crimson here. What I actually did is over here on data tags, on the free memory, which I believe goes from 0 to 100%, on the format tab, I put 0 to 100 here. And then over on display pages, let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. If I double click on this free memory one, double click on it. If I go to the figure tab, on the figure tab, normally there's block mode here. I chose fill from left, and then I simply drag the free memory tag into here. The dot min and max here is the 0 to 100. That's what it's doing there. And then this is where I gave it the coloring. So that's how it has that on there. So anyway, back to the display page here, team. So once again, 
I want you to notice currently there's 38% uh, that's left on this thing. Not much. I'm going to try something here in Crimson. I'm going to attempt to see if I can format the hard drive and get it back to uh, zero or 100% free. So I'm going to go format here, format flash. Let's see what happens here. Boom. I don't have any of the data loggers running. So we're doing this over the TCP connection. Actually, it's wireless here at my office, but let's see what happens here. Okay, so that did that. Now, if we go back to Crimson, I'm curious to know if I hit this, let's see what pulls up here. Look, the disk is totally open right now, completely free. Now, in this application, if you just want to watch it here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go here. Let me close this. I'll go to this main window. And I'm going to make another video on this, but let's go ahead and just turn some stuff on here. Okay. Okay. Now, if I go here, I'm going to turn on my data logs. And it's going to take a reading. All of these data logs, just so you all know, each one of these logs is actually logging 1,000 tags once a second, and each file is holding 60 samples, and I'm holding the last 30 minutes. So each one of these is actually logging 1,000 tags. Let me show you in the Crimson database. I'll go over here, go to my, uh, down here, my data logger right here. You can see each one of these is my data logs. Once a second, continuous sample. Uh, each file holds. 60 samples, 30 files at most. If I go to the contents tab, I'm going to do another demo or video on this, but basically each one of these logs is logging 1,000 tags in here. So I'll call that guy back later. So uh, it's logging 1,000 tags in each one of these. Every one of these is exactly the same. So that's what's going on. And we got that running. And what I wanted to do here, since we're watching this video, is if now they turned it on, let me go ahead and click this and see if we got any usage here. Maybe. Yeah. So not much at all yet, probably because it's not really uh, put too many discs on there. So let me pause the video for a second, and I'll let this thing run for a few minutes, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I've let this run for a few minutes, took a few phone calls and so forth, and uh, this thing is still running here. Uh, just so you guys know, if I go back, on here, if I look at the view logs on this local thing, uh, I should be able to look at the log files here. And let's see what it does here. So here you can see uh, today's date, and of course I'm doing a file once a minute. So if there are gonna be a military time, and you can see the size of each file. And I'm assuming, team, that if I go into another data log, HMI 93 or 95, they roughly should be about the same size once it stabilizes yeah there now i've only been letting it run for oh gosh about 10 minutes so there's not that many files on here if i go back to the main list and go to the remote here and it brings up the web page now if i hit this red dot which will call those functions let's take a look and see here so i've used four percent so far if you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll notice when I started that, this was at only 38% free because I'd let it ran for, I had let it sit here and run for, geese. Uh, I think I had it run for about 10 hours by that time. Anyway, I think those functions are pretty cool. So that's all this quick video was talking about, team. In this application was uh, recovering the get free bytes, get free percent, and get disk byte size. That's it. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks.